Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming along here today. My name is Chilo Chen, and my colleague is Mei Mei Zhang. We are subject librarians and today's speakers. In this talk, we will introduce the library's online catalog and discovery system. Then you will learn how to make better use of NTU Library's resources. First of all, NTU Library's catalog is called SLIN. The abbreviation SLIN means System for Library Information Management. So remember that SLIN is the name of the system. In this talk, you will learn how to use link to identify and locate resources relevant to your study and research by using various search functions to optimize your search result. We are going to divide this talk into six parts. I will be responsible for uh, part one, two, three, and Mei Mei will introduce part four, five, six. At the end, we would, we would be happy to answer any of your questions. Part 1. How to search in NTU Library. This is NTU Library's website. You can scan the QR code to enter the home page or just type NTU Library in Google. I will introduce the desktop version of the website. If you use a smartphone, you can rotate the screen for your convenience. Notice that the search area is in the middle of the home page. Also, you can click the sling icon here under the search bar to use more functions. To start searching, there are four tabs on the search area. The first tab is catalog, which includes libraries, collection, journals, ebooks, e-journal, audio, visual media. The second tab is discovery system, which provides Google Live single search engine interface. So what's the difference between them? We will introduce it later. When you enter SLIN, the language switching option is in the upper right corner. You can switch display language to English. Let's begin by searching a book. You can click on the first tab, catalog, and type the book title, author name, or ISBN number in the search bar. Then press enter. Your search result will look like this. Let's click on the book title. Here is a record of a printed book. If it is available and there is a code number afterward, it's a physical item we hold in the library. You will need to write down the shelf location and the code number and come into the library to find the book. Besides, if you want to borrow the book back home, you also need to check the status and loan policy, which tells you whether the book is loanable or not. The code number is like the book's address on the library shelf. Tells you which shelf the book is on. For example, the book's code number begins with PS374.5.F27. Next, how can I tell which are ebooks and which are printed books? In the search results page, you can see the electronic resources and physical items. If the item is available online, you can scroll down to view online. Click the link to access it. For example, the book is on EBSCO host platform. Because ebook usage different, differs among publishers, you may have a limitation in printing or downloading. If you have any question when using ebooks, please check the database support center to see the instruction or just ask our staff for help. In the second part, I will introduce how to refine the search results. If I want to find a book written in French, but I get a large number of results on Sling, can I limit my searches to books written in French? Let me give you an example. As we know, Harry Potter is an English novel. It's translated to in, trans, into different languages, such as French and Chinese. It also has a movie adaptation. Now, I want to find a French translation of Harry Potter. Let's practice. Click the first tab, catalog. Then in the search field, I select title and type Harry Potter in the search bar. Then click the search button. On the left-hand side, you can see more options to refine your search result. We call them filters. 
These filters can be useful if you get a large number of results. Here are various filters. You can refine your search by resource type, such as books, videos, or journals. The other filter, library, means the location, such as main library, low library, or other branch libraries on NTU campus. When looking for Harry Potter's French translation, you can click on books and French, then click on apply filter button to limit the result. So here are Harry Potter's French translations. Besides, we have a lot of music and video collection on the first floor of the main library, such as DVDs, VCDs, and CDs. You may watch the films in the digital media commons with the comfortable facilities or check it out. So let's look at how to find a DVD. First, click on the magnifier button to call out the search scope menu on Sling. Next, choose the library catalog and choose audiovisual materials to find the DVDs of the main library. Then, enter the keyword in the search bar. For example, I want to find Tom Cruise movie, Top Gun. On the left hand side, you can limit the search result to videos and main library. So here's the DVD of Top Gun Maverick. Click on the title to see more details. As the figure shows, two items are in the main library's first floor video collection area. Actually, they are located in different shelves. The first DVD is for library use. It's a public performance edition. There will be a gray label on the DVD case. Students can watch it in the library. While the second DVD is home use only, it's a home edition. There will be a pink label on the DVD case. You can borrow it back home, but you cannot use the home edition DVD in the library due to the copyright. By the way, please check out the DVDs at the service counter since there is a security case. In this part, I will introduce how to renew the books which you have borrowed. Also, I will introduce how to request the books which is checked out by someone. Let's begin by the loan regulations. For students, you are allowed to borrow 80 items at the same time. The loan period is 60 days. If the loan period is up and no one makes a request, you are able to renew the items online. If a book is already checked out by others, you can make a request online. You can request at most 30 items. If a book is reserved by another user upon checking out, the loan peri period will be shortened to 14 days. However, DVD and CD cannot be renewed and requested online. So how to renew the books which I have borrowed? Please go to the library website and click on the Login My Library button here under the search bar. Library account is sent as your NTU email account. After login, my name appears in the upper right corner of the web page. I click on my name and then select my circulation record so I can view and manage my loans. The list below are the books I'm currently borrowing. I can select Renew button on the title I wish to renew. If the item is overdue or reserved by another user, the status of the item will show not renewable. If you want to know how many times you can renew the books or the details about the loan regulations, please refer to this web page to get more information. Don't worry, we will send the today's slide to you after the workshop. Next, if you the book is checked out by someone, may I request it online? The answer is yes. You can request the book if someone already checked it out. As it shows, the status of the book is unknown. So if you want to make a request, you need to sign in with your NTU email account. Then, 
you can click the Request button to reserve it. When your requested item is available for pickup, you will receive an email notification. It will be held at the service counter for five working days. If you don't pick up the book during the period, the item will be moved to the following requester in line or back to the library bookshelves. To verify why you have a reserve, please log in to My Library and select the Request menu. To confirm the reception of library notification email, remember to check the personal details on Slim. It's best to leave your NTU email address as the contact email. All of the library notice later will be sent to list email address such as overdue notice, hope pickup notice, and recall notice. As a reminder, please do not use Google email address here because the mail server may block Gmail. Let's turn now to the dissertation and thesis in ASR as service center. The usage is different from the main library. Most thesis and dissertation are located in ASR as service center. The item held in the center can be found in Slim, and you may place an online request. First, you need to sign in with your NTU email account. Next, click on Request button, and the pickup location is limited and set as default with ASR as service center, and then click on Send Request button. Please pick out your request item after we send an email notification to you. Pay attention, ASR as Service Center is not in the main library, so where is it? It's located on the first floor of Zhonghe Lecture Building. Notice that ASR as Service Center's opening hours is only on Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here is a tutorial video about finding thesis and dissertation from NTU Library and Worldwide. You may watch it on the library's YouTube channel. Our channel is at ntulib underscore help. The next topic I would like to focus on is how to optimize your search result. There are three ways to optimize your search result. The first one is uh, refining by filter. The second one is using advanced search. The third one is topic searching. As we mentioned earlier, you can use the filters on the left-hand side to refine the search results, such as year, resource type, or language. Let's move on to advanced search. It's another way to optimize your search results so that you can narrow down your search to locate more specific information. Compared to refine option, in advanced search, you can set up some filter before you enter a keyword. To begin an advanced search, click the button on the right-hand side of the search bar. Here, you are offered several options. Advanced search allows you to quickly narrow by resource type, language, or date. Or you can tell Sling where the terms you should appear, such as the book title or the author. Also, you can enter keyword for separate concepts in separate boxes. You can add a new line to make it a more complicated search as well. Besides, you can easily switch the collection from everything to library catalog without losing your search filters. By the way, everything means discovery system. We will introduce it later. Let me give you an example. Many authors have a written book with the same title, like marketing management, and this one, this one is are also marketing management, but the authors are different. If I want to find a book written by Philip Cutler, we can use the advanced search function on Slim. In advanced search, we, use, we can use title and author to conduct a search at the same time. First, I type marketing management on the first line. Then I choose title in the search field. On the second line, I select end, A-N-D. In the search field, I choose author, and I type Carter, comma, Philip. 
Let's move on to the right hand side. Under the material type, I select books. Then under the language, I select English because I don't want to find the Chinese translations. Next, click on the search button. So this is a way to limit the search result further. Let me give you another example. As we know, bubble tea, Zhenzhou Nai Cha, is the popular drink in Taiwan. To begin with, I'm going to select everything because I want to search in not only the library catalog, but also in the discovery system. system. Then I type bubble tea on the first line. Now I would like to elaborate the difference among three search types. Contents is start with. By using different search types, the search results may turn out differently. For example, on the right hand side, there are three articles titles. You may notice that bubble T appears differently in the three articles. Let's look at the first one. There are many words between bubble and T. Actually, it's about a kind of disease in mushroom. Look at the second one. Bubble and T are near each other. Look at the last one. Bubble T is in the beginning of the article title. To sum up, Advanced search may get you research results more precisely. Next, my colleague Mei Mei is going to introduce topic searching. Hi, my name is Mei Mei. I will introduce the second half of this workshop. In this part, we focus on how to optimize your search results. You can use advanced search. Next, if you are interested in a certain topic or subject but have no idea how to locate them in a huge amount of library collection, I will introduce three methods to explore and quickly find the materials of a certain topic using our saline system. The first method is using subject terms. When you find a search result that seems close to the subject you expected, on the bibliography page, there is a field named subject under details. To put it simple, the subject is like the hashtag on Instagram. It could help you to find the materials with the same subject. Let's use big data as an example. Click on it and 927 materials with the same subject heading big data will be shown. Even those book titles without the phrase big data. Because big data is the concept of this book, it will not really show in the title or keyword. The second method is virtual browse. The virtual browse feature allows you to know the books you are interested in similar subjects. Because books on similar subjects are going to be right next to each other on shelf. This feature is great for when you cannot come into the library. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page and you will see virtual browse feature. The third method is using the code number. Browsing through the code number of each item from the search result, you may find out that collection with similar topic will have similar code number. Those materials with similar code numbers will be placed together in the library. The code number is composed of alphabet and number based on Library of Congress classification. When wandering among the bookshelf, you will see a description on end panel. For example, books about anthropology belongs to the GN classification. You can try self-browsing in the library. And we will talk a lot about how to use catalog in Sling. Now I would like to elaborate on discovery system. What is the difference between them? Let's review what we've said so far about the catalog. The catalog allows you to search books, journals, newspapers, and audiovisual materials held by NTU library. You can search for publications the library has on the shelf or in electronic form, like ebooks and e-journals. However, the library catalog can only search for the name of a journal, not the articles inside the journal. That's why we have the discovery system. 
Discovery System is a one-stop search system that provides a Google-like search interface engine. You can search anything here, including our library catalog, print and online content, books, journals, and articles, even with open access or free resources. However, if web resources are not purchased by the library, you may only see the bibliography records on limited content. In other words, the discovery system is a helpful tool combining various resources. Again, let's take bubble tea for example. If you use the discovery system, the search scope is everything. Here's the search results. There are a variety of materials in discovery system, ranging from print books to digital articles, so that you may find articles, books, open access articles, web resources, or book chapters. You can filter your results using the menu on the left by resource type. So what I'm saying is these two services are based on the same database. So they are in the same interface but with different coverage. With discovery, you can find more information than in the catalog. Not only books and journals, but also book chapters and journal articles. In the library catalog is not enough for you. Discovery provides a convenient starting point for finding research materials. By far, I think everything is clear and easy to understand, right? <laughs> then if you want to search for a specific article in a journal, how could you do? Now you have a citation of a journal-like article. In this example, the article title is Good Data Won't Guarantee Good Decisions. It's published in Harvard Business Review. And as we mentioned earlier, in the library catalog, we can only search for the journal title, Harvard Business Review. If you want to search with the article title, you can use discovery system. Let me demonstrate. The first one to search the article with title on discovery system. Please click the discovery tab. Now type in the article title in the search bar and then click to search. In the search result, you can see the first one result is what you want, an article. And you can access it online. Just click see more information in the bibliography record. For electronic resources, please see view online and choose the platform title to click. Now you can click the PDF full text link and congratulations, you get the full text. And it's easy. Now let's try the second way to search the journal title. And remember what I said. If you use the library catalog, you can use only search for the journal title. And don't forget to check other information such as year, volume, and issue. Follow the same steps we mentioned before. Click the catalog tab, type in the journal title, and click the search button. You can also use the library catalog advanced search, type in the journal title, and limit the material type to journals to fill out other types of materials with the same title. Then click on search button. As you see, this journal has an electronic version. According to the day of coverage, four tags for the year since 1985 are available. So click the link in the journal title. And just a few reminders, when you find a journal you need, please move to the view online to see which platform you can access. There may be more than one resource. Before you click the database title to access the full text, please check the coverage of the journal. As the figure shows, there are two sources for accessing this journal. If you're supposed to find the journal published in 1999, and which one you should click, one or two? And the answer is the second link. And sometimes you may confront a situation in the full text field, notes full text delay, which means you cannot access the current issue. For example, if a journal is not the most recent one year not available, 
it means the full text is delayed for one year. Although the journal's current issue is published this September, the newest issue you could access is the last September. Now we turn back to get the article for text. For the electronic version, please look at all issue on the right side and click the year, volume, and issue. Here, to see the page or to browse for the article title, you will find the article. And click the PDF download button, and you will get the full text. Now you know how to use the catalog and discovery system in Selin. In addition, there are some databases used to search for specific types or subjects of resources you should know. Using a database can narrow down the search scope. If your information need is specific, the database is more suitable for you. To use databases, you can go to library website and click the third tab, databases. If you already know a specific database, you can type in the database title in the search bar. If you want to browse all accessible databases through the NTU library, click the database link under the search bar. It will connect it to the database page. Here are three kinds of these sorted by content type, subject, and titles for browsing over 600 databases provided by NTU library. It seems like too many to browse, right? Uh, don't worry, let me introduce some widely used databases for you. In topics, they are general databases often used. In featured databases, they are important databases of each subject. Before searching, there's a notification for you. Most NTU library e-resources can be accessed in the campus network. However, suppose you are not on the NTU campus. In that case, you can still access databases, e-journals, and e-books remotely by off-campus internet connection services, also known as virtual private network VPN service. By using VPN, you can access resources outside the campus. You need to do some settings for the first time. There is an instruction page in the category of service menu on the NTU library website. You can follow these instructions step by step to set up your VPN. While VPN service is provided by NTU Computer and Information Networking Center, Jizhong in Chinese. If you get trouble when setting up VPN, you can ask Ji Zhong to help you. And one more important thing to remind, you have to enable VPN service before you set up. Please enter into the computer center, Ji Zhong's website. First, please click on this link. It will direct you to this web page to log in with your NTU email account and password. And after logging in, please choose the four options in the service list. And then there will be an English version document for you to finish. After successfully activating your VPN privilege, you can install the VPN software on your computer, laptop, or smartphones. And this software is called PostCure while the app is inventing secure access client. So after talking about searching Slim, now we will move on to the other features in Slim that might help you better use our system. There are three features that I would like to share with you. The first one is to see my favorite items in Slim. To see my favorites after signing in, you can click on the drop-down menu of the username by saving needy into My Favorites. You can quickly build up your personal collection list. Further functions such as import management, adding levels to multiple items at once, or exporting and sending the records are available. It's a convenient function to assist your reading and research. To save your resource for future sections, be sure you sign in each time you search. 
After clicking on the red pin, the system will add the item to my favorites. And to see and manage items in my favorites, click on the pin icon in the top right corner. If you want to remove a record from my favorite, just click the gray pin to remove. You can add labels on to your saved record. Labels are allows you to group records in private lists so that you can access these records as needed in the future. You can type in whatever term you want to add to the term. You may also assign multiple labels to a saved record if you want to include that records in multiple lists. All the labels use the amount of items worth with central labels will be listed on the right hand side of the page. And this function makes it easier to navigate through your personal collection list. When you conduct the search after signing in, the system will automatically show the items in my favorites in yellow background if it happens to be in the search result. The second feature is to save my search results in the link. That's say you came up with a really good search. You added a bunch of filters, find the right keywords to use, and your result looks great. But you aren't sure if you will be able to recreate the search later. No worries. Just click the Save Query button at the top of search result to add it to your favorites. You can save your searches for future use. The system will ask you if you want to turn on notification. If you want, click on turn on notification for this query. And type in your email to finish the setting. If you turn on the notification, the system will automatically keep you updated on the new data matching the query in the catalog. The new bibliography information will be sent to the email you had set. And it's really convenient. To see the queries you say, just click My Favorites or Search History on the drop-down menu of the username. And click the search, save searches to see, manage, and edit all the queries saved. This kind of function is often used applied to databases. The third feature is to export the references. When using Sling, you can export references of items to citation manager, email, or printers for personal use. For example, you can export the reference to EndNote. Uh, how to do that? In case you don't know EndNote, it's a powerful citation manager or bibliography management tool. It has features to keep all your reference and reference-related materials in a searchable personal library. Then you can manage these references and use references in word processing document to create formatted citations and bibliographic or independent references list. To put it simple, Enno is really used for and helps academic writing. If you are interested in Enno, there will be a workshop on November 16th. I welcome to attend the workshop too. That's back on track. In my favorite section or a search result page, you can click the three dots to view all the options for exporting a single or multiple records. If you want to export the references to EndNote, click the EndNote button and choose UTF-8 and then download it. A RIS format file will be downloaded, double click it and it will be imported into the EndNote library. In the bibliography record page, there is a send to section in the middle of the page. You can also click on EndNote if you want to export to the references to EndNote. Uh, I think we covered our primary content for today. And due to the time constraint, this workshop cannot cover all of the functions link. For more information, you can read about our post in the NTU Library References Service blog. If you would like to learn more about the Web of Science, journal citation, reports, endnotes, or apps core host databases, 
Welcome to Regis for the workshop for you. And so far, is there any questions? Uh, if you have any further questions about NTU library resources and services, you can also visit the service counter on the first floor of the main library for assistance. Or feel free to email us. So by the way, we provide a user menu. You can download a guide for further information. And welcome to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. So it's the end of the workshop. We appreciate your attention, and we hope all of you make good use of NTU Library. Thank you very much. <laughs>